Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, March 25th, 2016. This week, Coloring Book Craze goes digital with Photoshop and Elements, Pattern Fills. Did you spend hours coloring when you were a child? If you enjoyed coloring then, you'll love the new relaxing adult coloring book craze now. Katie Pertit's coloring book products can be printed to color with markers, colored pencils, or crayons. Or you can go fully digital and color the pages with Photoshop or Elements, opening up a world of creative options that will delight your inner child. Here's how to color these products with pattern paper, a technique that would be tedious or almost impossible if you were coloring by hand. In this series, we've explored a number of ways to digitally color line art like the coloring book crazy line or doodle do art or printable coloring book page overlays. Begin this technique by following the instructions in the previous two tips for selecting and filling sections of the page, creating a new layer for each color that you're using. Your layer document will contain the coloring book page on the bottom and a number of layers on top with sections of color. Select a set of coordinating papers that you'd like to color with. Now you can use pattern papers, solids, and artsy or painted papers to add some interest to your project. Open the papers you're using and then choose Window, Arrange, Float All in Windows. If you're in Elements, choose Window, Images, Float all in windows. Now this lets you see all of your open documents at one time. Get the move tool and select the layer on the coloring page that you want to color. So I'm going to select the background paper because that's the paper that I want to color. With the layer selected, click and drag the pattern paper over onto the coloring book document. Press Alt Control G on a Mac system, Option Command G on your keyboard to clip the layer and the pattern paper together. In Elements, you'll press Control G or on a Mac system, that's Command G to create what's called a clipping mask. The paper will take on the shape of the coloring book section that you're filling, filling the layer with the pattern. You'll notice now that the pattern paper layer move slightly over to the right with a downward bent arrow pointing to the layer that you're covering. When you see this, you'll know that the clipping mask has been successfully created. Next, select the next layer that you want to color. So I'm gonna select this pink layer. Select an open patterned paper and repeat the process. Click and drag the paper over and then create a clipping mask to fill your layer with pattern. Selecting the layer first ensures that the paper that you drag over will be in the right position in the layers panel. Now you can also drag layers up and down the layers panel, but before you create the clipping mask, you need to make sure that your paper is one spot above the layer that you're filling. Using this technique, you can color with interesting watercolor papers or blendables or other pattern papers. Mix and match patterns with solids or brushwork to creatively combine coloring techniques from the series. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.